I'm going to teach you how to achieve recording in this resolution and higher continuously using Magic Lantern. So how is this possible on an old camera like 700D? In my earlier video, I explained what Magic Lantern is and why it's amazing. We are going to use the same trick, but we will modify it a bit. Recording RAW produces big files and you can't natively record RAW on the camera. You need to install Magic Lantern. Even using Magic Lantern, you can only record small resolution in bursts. But last time, we used an experimental build called 4K Build to achieve higher resolutions. It allows users to record RAW using lossless compression. That means we could fit more pixels without losing any quality or record for a longer period of time. But we didn't hit the limit of the sensor. We hit a physical limitation of the camera SD card slot. 700D is only able to write in about 41 megabytes per second to an SD card. But there's a way to fit even more pixels. I've been researching online I came across a different experimental build. There's a version of Magic Lantern out there called Danis Build. You can achieve longer recording times than standard Magic Lantern by overclocking camera's card reader. It's a module that is available inside Danis Build, but you can't beat the compression that is available in 4K Build. That is, until I realized that you can take the module separately and combine it with 4K Build that we were using previously. And that's what I did. Now I can enable RAW recording, I can use lossless compression and I can overclock UHS module. I managed to record RAW video with resolution 1736 times 976 continuously and it's 1.61 crop factor so you are not wasting your lenses real estate. You can even push it further if you're okay with different crop ratios. But hold on to your SD cards if you choose to record in crop mode then you can record up to 1800 times 1012 pixels in 16 by 9. What magic is that? Seriously. <laughs> That's not far from 180p and this is raw recording. That means you'll get richer color and more flexibility in post without compression artifacts. This is on the camera that came out in 2013 and you can buy cheaply today. And this is how to do it step by step. But please double check everything more than twice because you're patching your camera and I'm not responsible for any breakage or liabilities. So number one, you need firmware version 1.1.5 downloaded from the Canon's official website. This is dangerous step. If done wrong, your camera won't work. Number two, go to Magic Lantern website and under experimental build, download 4K raw video read the instructions on how to install Magic Lantern carefully. There are some extra steps that you need to do when installing for the first time, but don't worry, if I could do it, so can you. It's okay if it takes a bit of time, but you only need to do it once. Step three, when you are done installing everything and it works, you need to download UHS overclocking module. Copy that file into Magic Lantern module folder in your SD card, I will provide a link in the description to the module itself because I couldn't find it separately. And number four, you're finally done. Uh, if you want to record RAW, uh, you need to go to modules inside your camera and activate crop, rec, MLV play, MLV rec, MLV SND and uh, SD UHS. And now magic is done. If you are still not sure, how to edit MLV files using pain-free workflow, watch my video called Magic Lantern Workflow, like here or here. <laughs> Enjoy patching your camera at your own risk. Subscribe. And combine it with 4K build. <laughs> Fuck, I sound so Russian.